y'all, I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and I have a flip through video for you. I am going to flip through my notebooks from Redemption Unwrapped, the Advent study from By the Well for God. I do have an unboxing of this kit available on my channel. I will make sure to link that, but beware that this kit is no longer available in the By the Well for God Etsy shop. It sold out several times and because Christmas is over, they decided not to restock it. But I thought some of you still might be interested in seeing a flip through. I know there are people that are still working through the kit through the month of December. So I wanted to show you how I did. Let's go. So you can see I kept all of mine in a notebook system. This traveler's notebook is from Webster's Pages. It is available at By the Well for God. I'll link that. And I liked this for the busy month of December because I could take it with me. I have the devotion here in the front. I have this cute little pocket where I actually kept a lot of the die cut shapes and you can see my watercolor card, but I sure did go through a lot of those. So those have been depleted and then I worked in traveler's notebooks. These are from By the Well for God. And I have a video about how I set up my notebooks and I will link that. What I did was pre-made a lot of the pages so that when I actually wanted to sit down and work through the devotion, I didn't have to worry about a lot of the artwork. So here you see the title page. Of course, the girl that we all so lovingly call Gigi is adorable. And each page kind of had the same theme of some music stenciled in the background, some of these wreaths in black, and a present on every page because of course the devotion is all about unwrapping the gifts of our salvation. My title for day one is God is Satisfied, and I created a Christmas tree over here from scraps of paper. This was a new kind of coordinating accessory that By the Well for God offered during Advent, and that was coordinating six by six paper pad. I loved it. I'm so glad that they continued it for their January kit. Super fun. And I also used the paper pad to make these presents where I printed out some of the library cards that were available as a digital file with the kit and then kind of worked and finagled and created pockets out of the cards and then you can see the present kind of tucks right in there and used washi to embellish as the ribbon. But as you can see a lot of it was done in the background you can see the music and I had the present done and I just layered some pieces some stamps and added journaling and that was that. For day two, I had a little bit more time to work. So I actually worked with some watercolor. These are watercolors that are included in the kit. And I wanted to imagine all of the greatness that God gives us, all of the gifts. Um, one of his purposes is letting it out, going in the flow, living with a purpose, and kind of letting all of our gifts from God out into the world. So I liked to illustrate that with um, this cool kind of smoke look coming from the watercolors. Again, another present with um, scripture references, a few stamps and a few die cuts, pretty simple. This one was a super quick page. All I did was add some stamping. This is from the Fanciful Alpha over at By the Well for God. I think they probably have this in stock. If so, I will link it below. I printed out the digital papers on sticker paper so I could cut it out and use it in my book. And of course, there were also stickers that came with the kit. I am a friend of God. Love, love, love the stamping that came in last month's kit. A simple washi tape and that was that. For day four, I had fun using the tissue paper that came in the kit. It's what your kit was wrapped in. I put some of it on an extra piece of white cardstock, traced out or kind of wrote out some bubble letters of mercy, which is my title for this day four, and then used a few other pieces as backgrounds and created my own title. Otherwise, simple stamping also on that piece of paper that I did with the um, tissue paper. And then I cut out those stamps to add more ornaments and relatively simple but I did have fun getting to use all of the elements that were included with the kit. For day five I added a simple title no authority here meaning guilt has no place in my life. Again another present insert with the scripture reference on it and this one was very simple adding just a few washies that I had in my stash that kind of coordinated with the kit, a few die cut pieces and some stamping and that was that. 
I had a lot of fun on this one playing with some different colors. And this is a stamp set that came um, as one of the extra ones that they offered in the month of December. And if it is still available, I will link it below. I added the title using that fanciful alpha and of course the tile alpha stickers that coordinate with the kit. Stamped here, added some hills for my hill town and added some colors that coordinate with the kit along with a stamp up here, adding a little bit of color with colored pencils. My day seven title is Chosen Child and I really liked how they said not only are we adopted, but we're born of the spirit. So we're reborn into God's family. So born of the spirit is our identity and our divine adoption to be co-heirs with Christ is our position. I made a little frame with one of the papers that um, was available that coordinated with this kit. This is one of the sweet stamps that's available in the shop. One of the small three by four stamps and added a few journaling pieces, some sentences here, and they called that one done. So day eight was a day that I didn't have quite as much time. So all I did was kind of use some watercolor to create these glasses because the whole um, essence of day eight was that we are seen through the lens of Jesus. So therefore we don't have to be perfect. God already sees us as perfect because he sees us through that lens. Day nine, forever bonded to Christ. And I use the feeling of a puzzle, like we fit together with Christ. When we are with him, we are made complete. Day 10 was a fun one. I liked the idea that we are invited in. We're invited to God's table. We're invited into the party. So I have my little reindeer out here looking in on the outside, looking in, and we are invited to come on in. This one was a fun one. And I, um, used a quote from the devotional to outline my window right here. Again, another present and a bit of journaling. References to light are some of my favorites in the Bible. And I had fun on this page talking about into the light. You are my light. Christ is our light. I grabbed this stamp set from by the well for God with these sweet bulbs. And I wanted to make them look like Christmas colored Christmas lights. And so use the different colors from the kit as far as watercolor, painted those in kind of blended them together, all the light coming together, and the rescuer came for me. Day 12 was all about wonder, and it was so amazing because it definitely coordinated with some of the sermon series that we were doing in my church. So you can see that I had a lot more journaling on that page. I spent most of my time on that and then just did some simple stamping over here to kind of fill the space, but I really spent more time journaling and praying on day 12. Day 13 was about letting go of the past and embracing that God has made you a new person. You can see I had a lot of journaling on that day. Definitely filled up my page with die cuts and washi tape strips. I made a little shaker card out of one of the ephemera pieces that came with the kit. I really enjoy doing this layered stamping technique and that's something that I'm going to continue doing. I stamped the background image in a color of Distress Oxide and then kind of offset the black and I like the shadow effect that that had and you'll see that throughout my devotion. Day 14 was inspired by another member of the creative team, Jessa, who made a gorgeous page in her notebook with stacked presents. And so I scrap lifted that idea and used the, all of the various presents that were in the stamp sets and included them on this page. I am a gift from the father to the son, which was kind of something that blew my mind. Loved thinking about it and reflecting on it. And so you can see my journaling over on this side. And again, a present with the scripture references. Day 15 was more fun with watercolor. I created this large heart and blended some watercolors in it. A new heart, God gives you a new heart. And we talked about which one we struggle to embrace more. And for me, it's peace. I'm always searching for a more tangible peace instead of the peace that God provides. So this was a great reminder to stop searching and to just rest in God's provision. Day 16 had me moving into notebook number two, and it was the transfer of privilege. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. And I just had some key words from the devotion right here. The background, I tried to create what I thought looked like ice. And so this is some embossed um, glitter, two different glitters mixed together for embossing, which made an ice look. So the ice skates and the sled on top of that.
You can see as the month goes on, the entries get simpler. And I just want to encourage you, it's not about doing over the top entries for every day or for every page in a devotion. It's about spending the time in the devotional. So yes, the month got busier as I um, got closer to Christmas. So I just did simpler entries. This one is just some torn paper, a few stamps in the background and some layered paper pieces. And I called it a day. I had time to put in some journaling and gifted a heavenly home as my kind of subtitle for the 17th. I'd encourage you daily projects are difficult. If you are having a hard time or if you haven't finished this project, take the time, finish it. Don't rush. You don't have to get it done, but you also don't have to go over the top um, to create art for each page that is kind of earth shattering. Spend some time, choose some stickers and go for it loved the 18th all about family gathering and really strengthening our bonds with our family in Christ. So I had a little family gathering here with the Gigi ephemera piece and her little reindeer, which I imagined of course belonged to her. Again, the background is just a few of the digital images that I printed on clear sticker paper, added some title up here, washi down here, simple as that. This page was super simple, a really busy day in our family. So I had just some simple stamping with the title, Christ is my partner, um, gathering of the different mugs down here, which I thought was a cool idea of like, if someone's your partner, you're spending time with them, you're sitting down with a cup of hot cocoa or a cup of coffee. And I liked thinking of all the ways that we are partners with Christ. For December 20th, we were focusing on that God really spends a lot of time gifting us. And I wrote journaling about who am I that God would care for me. His eyes on the sparrow perfectly captures that idea. So I created this branch and a little nest for my little bird right here. The riches of his grace, again, just adding a few of the paper pieces, some stamping, layering the two stamps with paper pieces worked really well for this devotion in the Traveler's Notebook. The 21st had us looking at the Lord's Supper and had us being thankful that we don't have to be perfect because of Jesus' sacrifice. Perfection is not required. And I don't know about you, but I am so thankful for, get, for that. Um, again, some layered paper pieces. I love tearing paper pieces and getting that texture in there, picking out these ephemera pieces, a little bit of hand lettering up here. Otherwise, this one pretty simple. By the time I got all the way to the 22nd of December, I was definitely working with a lot of scraps. And so what I did was I actually looked at this paper piece right here that had all of the different Christmas trees on it. And I copied some of those, some of those shapes and copied them onto other pieces of scrap paper that I had that had come with the kit, cut it out to make kind of my forest of trees filled with the Holy Spirit to the brim is the title of that one. I journaled a quote that was in the devotion and added a quick prayer. And that one was relatively simple too. December 23rd was about giving yourself fully to God. So I used the word full from that fanciful alpha alphabet set and stamped it over and over first generation, second generation, third generation with some distress oxide inks that coordinate with the kit. I layered a bunch of presents here at the bottom, added a quick journaling spot, and that one came together very quickly also. You can see I was really enjoying my stamps at the end. I loved this idea of stamping with all of the different colors, stamping the same phrase, and then stamping one last time in black. So it really stood out, lavished with grace. And I loved the quote, come and see what God has done. And that was something that was sung over and over in our Christmas musical at church and really focused on that in December 20 on December 24th on Christmas Eve. And look at the abundance of presents of gifts of things that God has done in our lives. And lastly, for Christmas Day, um, the devotion had us just looking back and looking at the abundance of things that are wrapped up in our salvation and our gifts from God. And I had a lot of fun layering a ton of different scraps that I had that I wanted to use up on this kit. I added this little journaling card right here that has a scripture reference on the back, used extra paper pieces and one last prayer and had such a fabulous time wrapping it up and using all the things on the last page. I really enjoyed Redemption Unwrapped. 
daily projects are hard. Daily projects in December are even harder because lives are just crazy busy. You travel, you have extra chores on top of your regular chores and things just can be out of control. But for me, getting to come back to this devotion every day to spend time, no matter how short or long I had, really helped me recenter and refocus on Christ during the busy holiday season. Let me know in the comments below how you are doing on your Advent study. Did you do Redemption Unwrapped? Did you participate in another study? Just let me know. I'd love to hear how your Advent kind of wrapped up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that bell notification button so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. I hope you have a fabulous day and a wonderfully happy new year. As always, keep it creative.